Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. It's kind of be like a quick video today. Um, I got received an email this morning and it basically said something. I'll, maybe I'll throw it on the screen here. Uh, they had bought a golf cart from someone and the previous owner said it had a six to one gear ratio in it. But how would they find out if it truly does have that six to one gear ratio in it? Well, you're going to have to do some things. And I have an axle here that we can show you, but the first thing you're going to have to do is jack one side of your golf cart up, you know, whether it's the right side or the left side. Uh, you you want to go ahead and remove the motor away from the, the, um, the rear end as well. And you can do this method um, with like just some tape, some painter's tape. That's what, how I do it. It's so much easier to do this on a car or truck because you don't have to remove anything. You just jack one side up and then you just wrap the tape around the, um, uh, the drive shaft and then you put another piece of tape on the wheel. But in this case, these don't have drive shafts, so you're going to have to remove the motor away from the axle if you're doing that. So I'm going to bring you over here a little bit closer. We're going to do this on the bench instead of doing it on a golf cart just to be quicker that way. And I'll show you exactly what we have going on. All right, guys, so this is a stock club car axle here. And it's kind of maybe hard to see on camera, but I was going to make this video a while back and I actually started making the video. I just never posted it. So I just reshot it again because I deleted that video. But I had a piece of tape here on one of the uh, studs for the wheel. So I'm going to do another one here. And we're going to use the top or the, the tape here, or the folded portion of the tape, as the top. So that's going to be the very top. And we're going to need to put another piece of tape here on the splines of the motor shaft. There's already a piece of tape there. I'll just put another piece on there so it'll be easier to see. Okay, that'll be easier to see there. What you wanna do on your golf cart, you're gonna to want to jack one side of it up so the wheel is touching the ground on one side but not the other side, okay? So in this case here, is it's pretty much level on this rear end here is, is probably like a 12 44 to 1 or 12 to 1 rear rear end so that means that the motor would turn 12 times before your wheel turns one time okay and as we can tell this we can just turn this right wheel i'm gonna hold the left one and we're gonna turn the right one here so the motor has turned once Motor has turned twice. Motor has turned three times. Motor has turned four times. Motor has turned five times. Motor has turned six times. And I'm right back here at the top. And then we gotta multiply that by two. So this right here is a 12 to one gear ratio rear end. This is a stock gear ratio rear end. So if you have a six to one gear ratio rear end, then you would turn your wheel one time and this stud right here would probably be down here around a three o'clock, 3.30 position. You would turn it again and then the stud would be around, you know, 7.38. Then you would turn it again and it'd be right back at 12 o'clock again. Then you'd multiply that by two and then you would have a six to one gear ratio rear end. Or, or if you were able to turn this right here wheel uh, two times or, or four times and it was the, the, the axle shaft was here at the very top, then you would have a eight to one gear ratio rear end. I hope that helps. But it's just like a car or truck. On a car or truck, it's a lot easier because you can just jack one side up. You can actually put a piece of tape on the drive shaft itself and then put a piece of tape on the wheel then you could just um, put the, the car in neutral and just turn it like that uh, to, 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 to see what the gear ratio rear end is and then multiply it by two as well. So I'm gonna hold it back here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
and this is back at the very almost back at the very top that's at the very top so this right here is a, like a 12 to 1 gear ratio rear end i hope that helps somebody if it does drop a comment down in the description below i understand that you, you might not want to have to remove the motor i don't know any other way of doing it uh, maybe someone that knows more about this right here can chime in and tell us a easier way of doing it or you could just maybe just trust the people you got it from but i understand in today's world that's not always the case is not always easy to do so well guys i appreciate you watching today's video i understand it's not like an extravagant diy it's something that not a lot of people are going to want to do however um you know i was going to make this test before i never did once i seen that email i said well let's put it out there i didn't see anything else on golf cart rear ends as far as finding out the gear ratio is concerned um like share comment subscribe do whatever you want to do and until next time we'll see y'all later